we kind of ran through the divisions. We're going to move into the next part. Of, One thing I want to say, though. Go ahead. Uh, worst team, I think we both have the 49ers. My, I have the 49ers as the worst team. Mine, I have to do some calculations. Okay, because you had some ties. Well, because the way mine works is it's all about the the strength of schedule would be the... You're talking about number one overall pick? That's yeah. That's what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Mine would be I've got the Browns, the Chargers... The 49ers, the Rams, the Eagles, and the Lions, all at three and thirteen. So that would kind of make things a little muddier for who for would sure. get the first pick. Yours is 49ers. just the Niners. It is the 49ers. There's no questions about it. Um nobody had any doubts in the entire world. Everybody knew it would be the 49ers. And then the flip side of that, obviously the Seahawks at 14 and 2 were my best team. Um no thir- no three win teams in the AFC. AFC did better than the NFC this year. So that's worth mentioning. And I'm looking through it right now. It looks like my first overall pick would be the Chargers. Oh, good Chargers for them. would get the first overall pick good because for them. they would have a strength of schedule of four mm. eight nine. And which maybe would be the lowest. maybe they can sign this one. Well, it'd be Deshaun Watson. They maybe they'd, they can sign him. They take Deshaun Watson or Leonard Fournette or to replace maybe Melvin he, Gordon. Maybe he won't play. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he, won't he won't play, play. either. But we're gonna move on into the next part, and we're gonna take everything that we just did and kind of con- a construct our playoff picture, and then b kind of walk you through it. Mark, let's start in the AFC. Uh huh. What is your one through six AFC playoff picture? So the number one seed, uh, of course, getting this as a buy. You guys know how this works. Uh, They are the Steelers, the 12 and four Steelers. Now moving down, uh, we had the Jets also getting a buy at 12 and four. Remember the Jets beat out the uh, Patriots for this division by one game. Then, of course, we have the Chiefs at number three, Mm -hmm. 11 and five. The Colts, nine and seven, getting that four, that four, and then... Unfortunately for the Patriots, they're eleven and five, but they are the fifth seed. And then finally, the Bengals at nine and seven are stealing that sixth seed in there. So that's my playoff picture. Mine for the AFC goes as this: number one top seed, it's got to be the New England Patriots, right there at twelve and four. Number two, right behind them, also getting the bye, the Indianapolis Colts. Then at three. I got the Chiefs. They're going to play the sixth seed in the Oakland Raiders, kind of get that AFC West matchup in the wild card. Then on the other side, Steelers get the home game going up against the Jets. Mark, take me through your AFC, your playoffs to who gets to. You want to go through that way, or do you want to go NFC now and give that playoff picture before we walk through Yeah, let's go. Let's do that first and then go through all the rounds. Okay, give me your AFC then. NFC. So NFC. NFC. We, NFC. Starting with the North, we have the uh, – the. Uh, I'm sorry. That's the wrong way to do it. Starting with the number one seed, we have the Seattle Seahawks. Like I said, they're the best team in the NFL. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're at 14-2. and two. Then we have number two, the Carolina Panthers, clawing up all day at 12-4. and four. So moving to another 12-4 and four team, we have the Vikings. They're the number three seed. They are happily the only team in their division. They're just spoiler going to the playoffs. Sorry to the Packers. Uh, <laughs> then we have the Cowboys, eleven and five, with the four seed. The fifth seed is going to the Cardinals at thirteen and three. Once again, a team upset that the you know NFL does their seeding the way that they do. Mm-hmm. Then finally, we have the Giants squeaking their way into the playoffs, just barely past them Packers. Just barely, they beat them in the regular season, and they're getting into the playoffs. And the one thing I have to say is, Mark in the pre-podcast show said that. He comes to me and he goes, yeah, and the Giants were that one team that I was looking for reasons to knock them out of the playoff. And I couldn't do and it. They still got in. I, I looked back at the schedule and I was like, one of these games i got to be able to flip to a loss mm-hmm. to get the Packers in. Because I can't imagine having Aaron Rodgers and the Packers miss the playoffs. Uh, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't find the game to give them a loss to. I like these Giants, these New York football Giants, just a little bit too much. With their new coach, uh, McAdoo. McAdoo, I love the man. I love him. He's a f- breath of fresh air as opposed to Tom Coughlin. <laughs> How my NFC picture is going to look is the number one seed getting home field throughout the Arizona Cardinals, 14-2. and two. Then at number two, also getting a bye, the Carolina Panthers. Then my first matchup, three versus six. It's an NFC North showdown between the Monsters of the Midway and the Purple People Eaters in Minnesota. And then on the other side, in Dallas, 
I've got the Green Bay Packers coming in to D-Town to take on the Cowboys in a kind of rematch of a playoff game that we saw a year or two ago that saw Des Bryant catch the ball, but obviously the refs don't know what a catch is these did days. Not. So we get that rematch. I'll let you pick. Do you want to mm-hmm. walk through the NFC or the AFC first? Um. Well, do you want do you want to do it that way, or do you want to just do it by round by round? Let's do round by round. So the okay. wild card. Let's start with the AFC wild card games. Mm. Who you got for your winners? And, and then while we have everybody here waiting, um, oh, we're just gonna run through mine first, and then get to yours. Yeah, we're gonna get all the way through. How we'll do it because of we're gonna put. I'm gonna put a nice shiny graphic up here. Let's do your entire playoff mm-hmm. picture. Walk through the entire thing. I'll kind of make some comments. You guys can see the graphic on YouTube. Then we'll walk through. Perfect. Mine. Just want everybody to know what's going on. Nobody to be confused. So, uh, well, I'm going to start in the AFC because that's what we keep doing. Okay. Um, first, like I said, I got the the Chiefs, the number three seed against the Bengals. Uh, the Bengals have never won a playoff game in their entire history, I'm pretty sure. And they're still not going to. And they never will. Um, I've looked into the future, and they never do. Uh, until they move to London, <laughs> then they finally win a playoff game. But anyways, uh, Chiefs are going to win that one, and the Chiefs they want to make a big statement. They do, they do. Uh, next we have the Colts at number four versus the Patriots. It's fucking Tom Brady and the Patriots. Tom Brady and the Patriots are going to beat Andrew Luck. Sorry, it's going to happen. Uh, now the NFC side of this wild card, three and six. So we had the Vikings at the three seed. We had the Giants at the six seed. I like these Giants, but I'm sorry. Th- these Vikings are just too complete of a team. Uh, and that bought defense, I don't think it's going to hold up against mm-hmm. guys like AP. So we're going to give the Vikings that win. Uh, the Cowboys at the four seed versus the Cardinals at the five seed. Got to give that one to the Cardinals. Th- this one's tough for me because they both are teams that are doing similar things. They, they kind of have the same idea out there. But it just, you know, I, I think that Carson Palmer's on a mission right now. I think there's a good chance he could potentially ride it, off into the sunset, or at least that's what he's trying to do. Is it like the Blues Brothers? Is he on a mission from God? I don't know. I'm not miss- sure. A mission from we're on a mission from God. Uh, I think he's on a mission <laughs> to finally do something <laughs> worth the knee injuries that he's had. So that's what he's going for. Uh, let's move over to the divisional. So AFC, the number one Steelers against the Patriots. It's mm-hmm. going to be a fun game. It's going to be a very tough game, and. I'm sorry, Ricky, but the Steelers are going to beat the Patriots. I'm just going to say now, I have this same exact matchup, but in a much bigger game. A much bigger game. And then I have the number two Jets versus the number three Chiefs. Uh, This is a great game. This is a lot there. I think that the Jets are going to have a lot of hype for them. I think they're going to really get people excited, Mm -hmm. but they're not going to be able to beat Andy Reid, Alex Smith, and his Chiefs. Uh, definitely think good things. That'll be a tough one. I mean, that's probably the toughest matchup mm-hmm. I have here. That's the biggest toss up. Um, but it, it'll be it'll be interesting. That's for sure. So moving forward into the NFC now. Uh, of course, we got the number one Seattle Seahawks. They get to play the number five Cardinals. Now, this is great because divisional matchup. Mm-hmm. You know, the two best teams in the NFC. This is a really good one. But like I said, Carson Palmer's on a mission. He is on a mission, and he's going to beat the Seattle Seahawks. Sorry, Seahawks. Then I have the number two Panthers clawing up against the number three Vikings, and the Vikings just can't do it. You know, this is battle of two complete teams led by defenses that like to run the ball, uh, but I think that the Panthers will do it just a little bit better against the Vikings. I'm sorry, Ricky. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, it happens. Then moving forward, uh, once again, to stick with the AFC first, we had this number one Steelers versus the number three Chiefs. The Chiefs can't keep it up. They're surprising everybody, but it's it's all done now. Uh, it's got to go to the Steelers. They're mm-hmm. the number one seed. They're winning this division. Uh, or their division, they're winning the playoffs. They're winning the, the championship, the conference. You know, they got it all. All right, so they're in the Super Bowl. Now on the NFC side, we had the number two Claw Panthers. Going up against the number five Cardinals. Does this sound familiar? Does this, does this feel like something you might have seen last year? Like last year. It sounds like the same thing. Yeah, but this time I have Carson Palmer on a mission winning this game. To win in Carolina. Yeah, going into Carolina and that, winning it. Because that's the big thing. For you in your playoff mm-hmm. world, 
it would be in Carolina. If those yeah. two teams played in mine, it'd be in Arizona. Yeah. Uh, but no, not not here. You know, the, the big ones here, of course, Steelers had home advantage throughout. Uh, the Cardinals were away the entire time. Mm-hmm. They always played on the road. Uh, and you know what? Sometimes that works for you if you're the New York Giants. And in this case, it works for the Cardinals. But that's everything. So the Super Bowl, we'll talk about that later. That's Steelers and Cardinals for me. And the one thing I will say before we segue into mine, you have the exact same Super Bowl as was predicted in, I believe it's the SI, the latest SI uh, magazine Oh yeah, for their Super Bowl prediction. I heard it on the DP show. They were really in-depth about it in that where mm. – uh, I can't remember who it was for SI who wrote the article, but he has Cardinals over Steelers, Larry Fitzpatrick in the south end zone of the corner, catching it. Fitzgerald, just like Santonio Holmes did eight years ago, to kind of reverse everything. Interesting. But let's segue right into mine and go right into my graphic. I'll start in the AFC because that's what we've been doing. The first round, first game, I'll, I'll look at the 3-6 matchup. Kansas City and Oakland, and this is a matchup where Kansas City's going to be coming in. They're going to say, you know what? You might have beat us once this season, but we beat you here at home. We can beat you here again. I think Oakland steals this one. This is going to be a high-energy Oakland team. Guys like Amari Cooper, Khalil Mack on defense. Carr is going to be ready to go. Derek Carr, not David Carr. I was going to say David Carr. That's why I only said Carr. Derek Carr is going to be ready to go, and they're going to get the upset and move on past the Chiefs. Then I've got the 4-5 seed Jets against the Steelers. I can't pick against the Steelers. The Steelers are a team where they're going to be good, even if they are only the 4 seed in the AFC. Then if I move over to the NFC side in the wild card, Vikings-Bears, Bears don't have a chance. They're going to lose in Minnesota. Vikings are going to move on. Dallas Green Bay, I'm going to give that one to the home team as well. Green Bay, A, I don't like you. B, I think Dallas should have won the last time you guys met in the playoffs. So Dallas is going to move on. That means I've got matchups of Dallas playing Arizona in Arizona. Vikings go to Carolina. Pittsburgh will go to Indianapolis. And Oakland goes to New England. I want to start with that one. I've got a rematch of the Tom Brady Tuck game, the Tuck rule game. This time it's not going to be snowing in Foxborough. Tom Brady going to win that game like he did before, move on to the AFC Championship game. Does he have game. to tuck it again, though? Well, if he did, it would be a fumble, wouldn't it? Because yeah. they took they, that they away. The, it's yeah. gone now. So we won't get a, re, a reenactment of that. Won't be snowing either, but the Patriots will move on. Then I like Indy. I had him as the second-seeded team. But I think Pittsburgh's going to get past them in Indianapolis, move on. I have an AFC championship game of New England and Pittsburgh and Foxborough. And if I move over to the NFC side to set up that championship game, I'll start with Vikings Carolina. I got the upset in this one, too. I got the road team, my Vikings, beating Carolina in Carolina. Moving on, maybe Blair Walsh hits a field goal for once. We Probably move not, on though. to the NFC Championship game where we will play the Arizona Cardinals who easily got past the Dallas Cowboys in their home building in Arizona. So I have Arizona, Minnesota, NFC Championship game. I've got New England, Pittsburgh, and the AFC. And it all comes down to I've got Arizona beating my Vikings. Why do you think I did that? I couldn't kiss Naturally. the death. I couldn't kiss the death. Yeah. My own team. And that's, then, that's dirty. That's and dirty. then moving on from the AFC over Pittsburgh, the New England Patriots. So I have an Arizona mm. New England Patriot Super Bowl. So basically, what you're saying is the era of Jimmy Garoppolo has begun. It has. It has begun. Because it has begun. Tom Brady just got hurt. He just got hurt right now. No, I don't. Somebody, think- somebody, call up and check on him. Make sure he's okay. Because he just got the kiss of death. 